So guys, Tesla has been making some pretty steady and honestly necessary progress on camera reliability on both software and hardware. With everything we're seeing now, it's become clear that they're gearing up for a much bigger leap as part of the AI5 roadmap and surprise hardware upgrade discovered just this weekend really proves that it's now just around the corner. Over the last several months, Tesla has been rolling out a mix of software updates and hardware changes aimed at improving camera performance in all kinds of weather conditions. In the latest software builds, Tesla has placed an even stronger focus on ensuring that its camera remains clear and functional even in situations where dirt, water, or debris could obstruct visibility. However, all of this doesn't seem to be enough as according to reports by Business Insiders, Tesla has been working on modified versions for its robo-taxi fleets. Known internally as Project Halo, this program features upgraded model vehicles with components that differ from those in consumer versions. Key upgrades include new sensors with active self-cleaning solutions and reinforced housings to shield them from debris and potential damage. Tesla has also plans to upgrade the full self-driving camera suite with a new hybrid waterproof lens technology. These lenses feature built-in heating elements capable of melting ice or snow in just under a minute. These upgraded sensors are also designed for extreme weather conditions, supporting reliable operations between negative 40 degrees Celsius and plus 150. With the current sensor suites falling short on many aspects, something Elon has publicly acknowledged in recent weeks, he confirmed that Tesla is actively working on major areas of focus around improving camera and visibility. All of this signals an active issue that Tesla engineers are currently working on, with fixes now rolling out to new hardware already being tested on internal models. Just recently, discovered over this weekend, Tesla appears to be making its first major update to exterior cameras since early 2023. The changes appear to be a potential upgrade in preparation for AI5 suite, which Elon said will be present on a handful of vehicles by next year. Currently, Tesla uses a Sony sensor lens with the model number IMX963, a 5 megapixel camera offering improved dynamic range and low light performance over the 1.2 megapixel sensor in Hardware 3. However, Tesla is now preparing to upgrade once again Greeny only spotted a new sensor model in the latest firmware with the designation IMX00N. Green specifically mentions, it looks like Tesla is changing or upgrading its camera in some new cars being produced, whereas hardware 4 to date uses exterior cameras with IMX963. Now they might potentially be having something called IMX00N. Sony has not announced any specifications on this version of the sensors. But given the ramp towards robotaxi, AI5, and high precision autonomy, it makes complete sense for Tesla to push external camera capabilities even further than what we have today. Tesla maintains that AI4 hardware 4 vehicles can support self-driving, but AI5 is expected to be the next big leap forward for perception accuracy, edge-to-edge -edge case detection, and real-time data collection. Tesla last updated the exterior camera back in early 2023 when it transitioned to the 5 megapixel camera, it also added additional lenses in early January on new Model Ys, including a forward-facing bumper camera for improved FSD performance. Alright, so this is really exciting news. It's exactly the kind of update cycles that shows how Tesla operates behind the scenes. There's no exact timeline, no midlife refresh. It's just when they have the parts is exactly when they'll add it into newer cars. This is the way we really want to see in all other manufacturers that provide the same kind of offerings. Realistically, when things start hitting the limit, bottlenecks start to come out, whether it's visibility, weather, or just hardware aging out. They don't want to wait for major events to overhaul the entire thing at once. Instead, they quietly make improvements to the production line, firmware, and even older fleets. This is how they really do things over at Tesla. And this is what makes it so interesting to follow and see what the progress is like. And then now with AI5 on the horizon, the smaller changes we're starting to see early in the firmware suddenly starts to make a ton of sense. All of it lines up with the plans to slowly but quickly ramp all vehicles into the upcoming improved sensor suite ready for the transition over to Hardware 5. Now, in similar news, Intel vehicles have just received a new update that improves the overall UI and experience. 
In a surprising and welcoming move for legacy vehicles, Tesla's baseline package for the holiday update 2025.44 includes improvements to the dash cam viewer for vehicles on older Intel Atom MCU2 processors. The UI differences is immediately noticeable. The older interface with smaller camera feeds are now gone. The new Intel dash cam viewer now matches the Ryzen vehicles giving owners a cleaner layout with all camera options lined up along the bottom of the screen. This also frees up a much larger area for the main video playback, making it much easier to see details and review clips. But this isn't just a UI refresh, it comes with functional upgrades as well. The scrubber bar now includes jump to event, instantly bringing you to the triggered clip, whether for sentry detection or horn events. You can now jump forward and backward in 15 second increments, replacing the old manual scrubbing. Tesla also added an up next button to move forward to the next clip, a new uncrop view toggle, and a brand new grid view showing all four camera perspective at once. The grid view works just like the Tesla app, letting owners view the front, rear, and both repeater cameras simultaneously, making it easier to determine whether anything happened or quickly find a clip they're looking for. Playback speed control, delete options, and other core functions remain available as well. Additionally, the holiday baseline update, which we have discussed in the previous video, version 2025.44.3, is now rolling out to the sixth wave of vehicles now reaching 52% of the fleet. The update now brings new grid views to Intel-based vehicles, Radio now supports traffic announcements in supported regions, exclude home options when using cabin overheat protection, and for vehicles that have the options such as the Model Y L, Model Y Performance, or the Cybertruck, when power sharing is enabled, the charge port LED now flashes green to indicate active power output. The UI has also been updated to clearly display whether the car is connected to a supercharger, wall connector, mobile connector, or third-party charger. All of these changes in this build are part of Tesla's ongoing stability testing ahead of the holiday update arriving later this month, which is expected to introduce all the major Christmas features. So there we have it guys. Tesla is clearly in the middle of another one of those quiet but big upgrade cycles. The camera improvements, the early signs of new camera hardware, and even the love shown to older Intel vehicles, this is the straight up sign that Tesla is working towards tightening up its process and vision stack towards AI5. We've talked about this for a while now. There's no just upgrading the full self-driving computer. We are going to be seeing a full sensor suite upgrade they have been working on this for many years now, completely overhauling the entire system. AI5 is going to include improved cleaning solutions, a better resolution, better accuracy, and 40 times to compute compared to what we have today. Everything is going to be set up for unsupervised robo-taxi experience. At the moment, right now, with what we have found in the firmware, the earliest switch to the new Fender cameras, it looks like they are going to gather as much early data as possible train the system for the eventual wide rollout. It's likely that they're gonna be calling it hardware 4.1, eventually make it to hardware 4.5 when all the cameras are available. And then that leads us away to the full suite and full package hardware 5 with the new FSD computer. All of this is going to be retrofitable. Anything on 4.1 all the way up to hardware 5, everything is going to be in place. Wiring harnesses, all the hardware, it's going to be a plug and play event. Overall, this is just really exciting stuff happening over the next couple of weeks. We'll just see how quickly these new camera modules make it into production cars. Of course, I will be keeping my eyes out for anything else that comes out and update you as quickly as possible. So I would love it if you stick around, hit that subscribe and that bell notification if you haven't already done so, and follow me on X at HeyJohnE. Over there, you would definitely see things that you wouldn't see over here. And you can chat with me anytime. I'll respond as quickly as possible. This should be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. This is John. Once again, peace out.